All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Um, it's mid-January. Uh, been really warm winter so far, really crazy. We barely got any snow, um, which has actually helped me for trapping. Um, I've managed to pick off actually quite a few animals here. These are just a few of them. Um, got a lot of variety on this one today. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, we got some otter, we got an otter on there, uh, some coons, a mink. Uh, actually, the first one you guys are going to see is a weasel. I haven't caught one of those in quite a while. Um, so that's pretty cool. But uh, just a quick video <clears throat> so you guys can see a little bit of what I've been doing. So, hope you guys enjoy it. So cool. Nice one. Look at that. That is awesome. Oh. Up is up waiting. Oh yeah. Oh my word. So beautiful. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Love it. That's so cool. Yeah, I bet it is it a male. Can't tell. His whole body's yellow. Might be a female. Yeah, he's got a lot of yellow color to him. That's crazy though, no black tip on his tail. So tiny. That is awesome. Got him in the rat trap. Sweet. What do you think? Pretty cool. Cool, cool. All right, guys, checking traps. As you can see we got a nice big coon here, big boar coon. That is a beauty. He's dark. It's coming into mid-January here, so he's gonna be prime. I actually just caught him in a a little um little cubby hole set they had for mink. I wasn't even trying to catch him. So that's cool. That's a big coon. We're gonna get him taken care of here and get this trap reset and carry on down the line. All right, guys, out checking mink traps here. Uh, cool little, just a little stream here. It's actually just like a little tributary flowing into a bigger stream right here, right down alongside the road. Had a nice little pinch point right here, so I put a 110 in it, hoping to catch a mink or a muskrat or something. I could see we got a mink in it. I'm gonna pull them up here. See how, see what it looks like. Oh heck yeah, guys! Just like that. Nice mink. That is awesome. Right in the 110. Suitcase them. Just like that. That is awesome. I'm pumped. Trying to get him out of the trap here and get this trap reset. Whoops. And get you guys a better look at him. It's been slow going. I can just say, guys, you gotta have patience with mink trapping. They don't, they run big territories, a lot like a bobcat or an otter. And uh, they don't, they're not there every night, you know. You might, these traps in this area I've found usually takes about two, two weeks for the mink to come through. And they'll be here for about two days. And then they'll leave, and they'll be gone for about two weeks again. So it takes lots of patience, but it pays off. Oh, 
All right, there's our setup. Hopefully you guys can see it. Just a 110. I got a stake there. Got it wired off up there. And those mink, they're just cruising right through there. Bam, we got one. Get it dried off in the snow here a minute. And get you guys a better look at it here. Snow dries the animals out real good. There it is, guys. That is awesome. Nice mid-January mink right there. Beautiful. Absolutely love catching these things. They're a tricky little animal to catch. But, man, it makes it very rewarding when you finally catch one. Cool, cool. Really simple set. Productive. We'll catch stuff in it. Out checking traps here. Really warm. It's the 14th of January, so about the middle of January now, and it's like almost 40 degrees out here. Weirdest winter I've ever seen. But anyways, with the warm weather comes lots of animals moving around, so the coons have been out moving around. We've been catching them, and uh, we've been catching a couple. I got one here. This is my second one um, this winter, in the winter here. Um, they're out of their dens moving around, and man, these coons are nice. They're prime. Um, and I've just been catching them in my mink sets, not even trying to catch them. So even though we're not always catching mink, we are getting some action, you know. Anyways, here he is. And this, guys, this set had no bait, no lure. Absolutely nothing. This was strictly a blind set. This trap was set right right there It was literally just set right there for the mink to come, you know, hop along here and Man, we got a coon in it. It's a really nice one. He's he's hiding right now um, let's See if I can pull the, the trap chain here and Get him Not a little bit. He's kind of he's grumpy. There he is. It's a really nice coon, another really big one. So we're gonna get him taken care of, get this trap reset, and keep moving down the line. Right, you going? Yep. All right, guys, got an otter here, finally in this set. Oh yeah, this is a big one. I nailed him in that 330. Yep, good one. That's a nice otter, <laughs> big boy. Nice, good pinch down set going right through the stream here. It got him. Great big old otter, big nail. That's the one we want to catch. Cool, cool. Patience pays off. Two out of three tags filled for me. Get them dried off in the snow here. Here, I'll get them over here. Oh yeah, that is a big otter. Yeah, it is. That's one of the bigger nice. ones I think I've ever caught. Yeah, yeah, nice. That's awesome. Yep. Sweet. If that tractor set, maybe we'll get another one. Well, guys, that's a wrap for now. Um, I'll still be trying to do some filming here and there. Um, it's not trapping in the winter here in northern Michigan. is usually pretty slow. It's been pretty productive, but... You know, I, I normally don't have near the amount of traps that I do in the early season set, you know. And um, the animals just aren't moving as much. So, um, but I'll keep trying to film and uh, keep trying to post some videos. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.